Extreme 3D Paint Palette Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you a design that I absolutely love and I hope you guys do too since you are all artsy or at least, you know, appreciate art. It is a paint palette and a paint brush. It is such a cool design. It's extremely 3D and if you wanted to do this you could just do the palette if you didn't want it to be so crazy and make it a little bit more wearable. You could do a palette on one nail and then you could just do the brush on another nail and it would look amazing. So I hope you guys like this as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to start with, I'm going to create my paint palette shape out of the nail tip. So I'm starting out with a, just a square nail tip, and I'm going to go through with an e-file and a narrow bit and start carving out my paint palette shape. So I'm starting out with the thumb, the thumb area, or no, the finger, the finger hold, not the thumb area. And then I'm going to go, and next to that, add the little thumb hole, just like so. You know, kind of progressively work your way through the nail tip. This area, I always, you know, do it very slowly, slow and cautious, kind of like tortoise in the hair, slow slow and steady wins the race and work that through just like so get that hole in there and then after you have that I'm actually going to use a hand file and round out the other area the other side of that nail tip so it isn't quite so square then I'm going to encase my nail with a layer of clear acrylic so this you're going to want to work around all of that fun little shape that you made on the tip of the nail and if you guys don't want to do a weird shape like this you can just paint in the thumb hole and the finger hold so that you don't have to you know, if you're wearing this, that little, that little finger hold might make it a little bit funny to brush your hair or something and make it caught. So you may not want to do that. You just want to paint those in instead. But then I'm going to file my nail into shape with my e-file. And I started out with a nice coarse bit to remove any bulk, then using a finer bit to smooth it out. And I'm going to be using some Madame Glam colors for this. So I'm going to start out by painting two coats of all the way up, which is a really, really pretty mauve pink. It's very sophisticated as far as the color goes. It's just really pretty and it's just a great background color so then i'm going to be applying a second coat cured after each coat as you can see it applies just like cream it's so nice and then a layer of matte top coat and cure that so now after you're done with all of that on a nail form backing i'm going to start sculpting my paintbrush with brown acrylic i began sculpting the actual handle of my brush long and skinny and just kind of push it in from side to side until the acrylic starts to set it's going to be very wiggly i guess you could say as you push it it's going to probably push too far but as it begins to set you're going to be able to work with it a little bit better make it narrower at the very end of the brush and kind of widening as it reaches where the bristles will be so then after you have that i'm going to make the bristles of my brush with black paint or black acrylic i mean not black paint black acrylic and when i did this i kind of angled them so that they were a little bit like tilted to one side like they were actually touching the palette so they the brush the bristles just kind of flow to one side just a little bit as you can see it's not too extreme but just a little bit angled to one side and then add the silver little connector piece that attaches the bristles to the handle with silver acrylic just like so after you have that and it's set you can pop that off the nail form backing and flip it over and start building up the back side of it so as you can see the back side is very very smooth and that's not going to look very good when it's up against you know standing up you want it to be nice and rounded from a 360 point of view so just add another layer of acrylic to the handle the bristles and to the connector piece so some more brown some more black and some more silver and then depending on what your brush looks like I decide to add some more acrylic to the side I started with so I'm gonna go back through and add more acrylic to the first side so that's three layers the first just kind of like the base layer and then one on either side of it just to make sure it is really nice and round and like I said it looks good from a 360 perspective Add that last little bit of silver just like that and then that brush is all done so I'm going to take some nail glue and I'm going to put just a little bit of glue down and I'm going to glue that in so then I'm going to use other colors of Madame Glam polishes for my my paint colors so I'm gonna start with I have a color called sangria which is a really gorgeous very pretty wine color then I also attached my brush better a little bit with some clear acrylic just to secure that down so then I'm going to put all these colors onto my nail form backing, just as a little palette. I don't have a different palette to use, so I'm using that, and it actually works really well for gel color. And I've got those five colors. So the first one I did is actually called Fresh Water or Clear Water, or now I'm trying to think of what it was, and I can't. But just this really nice blue. I'll put it in the description box below so you guys will be able to see what it is. But then that, and I'm going to use a purple color. This is one that I've actually had for quite a while. It's one of my first Madame Glam colors. I'm using, there's that sangria color, and just add splotches of paint. There's a green one and then a peachy color called cheek to cheek. All these colors are so pigmented and so wonderful. They're just gorgeous. After you have those on there and they're cured, go ahead and top coat them with some just some gel top coat. And after you have that on there, just top coat the paint splotches. Don't put top coat over the entire nail. You want that matte and glossy contrast that really adds so much to it. 
just like that add that over all of those that down to earth color which is the green is going to be so nice for i think like halloween it's such a nice pretty green and then add some of that top coat over the silver connector piece on your brush to make that nice and shiny and after it's all cured you are all done like i said i absolutely love this design it is one of my new favorites i hope you guys like it as much as i do and don't forget to share any recreations with me on facebook or instagram i'd love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye